guys, my name is Joe, and I'm in charge of animal welfare at Eagle Farm. So today we're going to talk a little bit about adjusting your dog to enjoy or at least tolerate being in the water. This is great for baths, this is great for if you go on hikes where there's rivers or lakes or anything and you want your dog to just be a little comfortable getting a little bit wet. So let's dive right in! Winnie is our most fearful of the water, which is pretty understandable because she's younger than the other two um, and has had fewer experiences uh, just in general. So Winnie doesn't like her feet anywhere near it. She doesn't want to be anywhere near the pool. She stays about three feet back from it. So obviously I'm, I carry her in in my arms. And then for now, I'm not doing too much to try and encourage her to put her feet in. We're just sitting in the water and you know just being in this space and enjoying it with a dog that's by themselves giving treats giving love just being relaxed and calm um, because she's hot right now i might put a little bit of water on her so that she starts to feel like oh this actually feels kind of nice so i'll just take a little and she'll probably squirm a little bit but if she just starts to associate this with oh that actually feels kind of good oh yeah that, that's weird isn't it yeah i know you don't like it Pretty soon she'll start to cool off a little and she might just come around. So this is all I'm going to do with her today. For now Winnie is just going to be in my lap, no feet in the water. I'm not expecting her to be up to being this deep in the water at this age and at this point um, in, in her experience with water. Okay, one more little dunk and then you can be free. I'm not gonna let her do it herself. I'm just gonna pick her up and put her outside. Here you go, bye wins. This is Tot. So Tot is not 100% comfortable in the water, but she's not like super terrified of it either. So with Tot, we're going just real slow, same thing. Um, I'm trying to distract her with like sticks and other things she can chew on. So she also really likes cuddles and to be in the lap. So if I'm holding her on my lap, it's a little easier for her to adjust to the fact that my lap is wet and we're sitting in water. Um, so the main thing, as with all of the dogs we're showing you today, is just not to just throw them in the water, but to associate the water with positive things. If you have a dog that's alone and who's really food motivated, that can be really, really helpful too. We don't do it because the other puppies are here, so we'll just be swarmed by puppies. But say I had Tot by herself in here, I would take treats with me, and that would really help convince her that this is a positive place to be in this little pool here. Um, and you know, I'm not like, making crazy sounds, I'm not overexcited, I'm not trying to get her to like rough and tumble play with me in here, um, and I'm not, you know, I'm trying to stay calm so that she doesn't get nervous around here and think that this is something to be worked up by. So she's doing really well. Um, so if she's up on my lap, I try and just slowly and calmly get her back where all her feet are in the water. You can do very gently put water on top, she doesn't particularly like that, um, so I'll do that rarely. Um, and then eventually, once she's relaxed and calm, then I'll let her go and she can jump out on her own or onto my lap. <laughs> and there she goes. So with a dog who's not super comfortable but not absolutely petrified, that's a good way to start. This is Tater and Tater is actually a natural when it comes to loving the water. So it didn't take me much to convince him to get in here. Um, all I have to do is play with him a little and kind of put my hand under the water and he seems really interested in it. So um, with a dog like Tater, you can graduate him up to deeper water, you can graduate him up to fetching in a pool or in like the ocean or a lakeside. Um, so he'll pretty quickly adjust to where that's something he's comfortable doing. But for now, again, we're starting at like ankle deep water for him. Um, and you know, I'm just creating as many positive experiences as I can in here. So I'm throwing the ball in. Um, I might give him treats in here. He really likes it. You know, I'm trying to just distract him a little from the fact that he's in water. Um, and if it's really hot out, sometimes just putting a little bit of water on top so that it cools down and he's like, ah, oh, that's just kind of good. Um, putting things that float in here, he likes bobbing for sticks and stuff. So um, this is a good place to start for a dog that seems to really enjoy the water. Um, you don't want to rush it to where, again, you're throwing him in the pool. Um, or like, don't put him in deep water to start. Put him in something like this that's a little bit more manageable. And then his love for water will just build and build as time goes on and as he gets more and more confident in it. Whoops. <laughs> Good boy, Tates. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss a single video.